Best intro ever. Did you hear the thunder? It's storming like crazy, crazy, crazy time right now. Um, for now, we're just gonna relax. We're gonna eat dinner. We're gonna watch Queer Eye because a new season came out today. He really wants. The reason I had ice packs on me is I have a really bad headache today. I can't seem to kick it. Um, I can only take Tylenol and I'm just used to some good old Excedrin. So I did have some caffeine in a pop and um, some salt with the chips will hopefully help. I'm so Chicago. How? Huh? <laughs> um, well, we still might go somewhere tonight. We just haven't decided where yet. This is the happiest pup in town. She's been just smiling here for a minute. Because let's face it, Evie doesn't stay in one spot for too long. But she's so happy. All right. I could tell that I've been running consistently for a while because it feels weird to not run today. Even though it's my my scheduled off day but we decided to go see lion king tonight we're doing front row though the nine o'clock so i'm gonna get the dishes all situated then we're gonna head over to springs not a super like rush night still chill taking it easy sarah wasn't feeling the best earlier so we need to cool it i got my ticket here bada bing bada boom pretty cool um i'm gonna sing along a lot it's gonna be great how spooky the Tower of Terror advertisement looks with the clouds behind it. Oh, I want to go on Tower of Terror. We literally have not been in so long. I want to go on. When our Fast Pass is going to be back. Everybody is at Disney Springs tonight. Closed. Never seen, I've seen the full. I've never seen them closed. Ooh. Everyone's waiting to take their picture. I don't know what I was thinking doing Queer Eye and Lion King in the same day. Sarah's gonna be an emotional wreck. Oh my gosh. On top of Sarah was having like more, did we say how you were like having more symptoms today? Like not from the side effects? There's a lot of people, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stop moving with the camera out. So. Just been feeling it. So, and then on, add Queer Eye to that, add Lion King that, add emotions. Ooh, it's a day for her. Uh -huh. It is a busy night at Disney Springs, but I'm hopeful that we're going to an appropriate time where we'll be able to do like a quick musical lap. Maybe after. Maybe. Well, like not a lap, but like just like a little yeah, bit of a walk. Um, a lot of the shows, like we bought our tickets way too last minute. Like we're front row. So I'm guessing that there's gonna be lots of people in the theater too. We were taken in by the allure of this big screen. Yeah, I'm not for used the to seeing NBA light. experience. It is a Hooked on a feeling, low key, my favorite Guitar Hero song. Wait, the store might be. The store looks open. The NBA store. You did used to play basketball a lot in your backyard. Yeah. Look at Mickey and the Bulls. What's that? Is it is it Space Jam where like Michael Jordan like feels all the dots uh -huh. on the basketball? I just had a flashback. I was really into basketball when I was in uh, middle school and elementary school and high school. I'm a shooting star. And um, some of my passwords are still just basketball <laughs> because that's, that was a good password when I was 13. Oh, look at this cool figure in your life. Ooh. Oh, is this for the experience? I guess. WDI did not like that they wanted to like, the, or the company that made this did not like that WDI wanted to theme these. And I think the first big trouble spot was in Avatar. Obviously Disney won and they like, <laughs> got to theme their way, but it was right. the company that they had produced those 
was not they thrilled. Wanted, like, they wanted it to be food. their, I think it was like their thing. They wanted it to be. It's Mickey, though. Here's the fancy sign. And the TV. Yeah, I think you'll go in over here for, yeah, there's the entrance. But then down there's gonna be the restaurant and bar, which is gonna be sweet. And did you guys know Chicago used to be like a basketball dynasty? Oh, really? There's actually a garage that's down the street from Sarah's old house that had like all of the... The years that they won the championship. Yes. My dad, when we were little, would like, when the Bulls would play and the Let's Get Ready to Rumble would go off, like he'd flash the lights in our house and we'd run around and we'd play around. Okay, back to where we're supposed to be going. We got the banners, we got Nala, we got Mufasa and Simba, we got the cute little sign. That's for you! Yeah. I'm kind of nervous too. But I'm excited for the previews. Alright, so we're in the theater, ticket scanned, ready to go, ready for our trailers. Um, they opened up like you cannot walk completely through to the wow. dine-in experience to here which is smart because it was kind of silly before that they were two different entrances but it's freaking me out a little bit yeah but it's nice I mean, they're always changing real nervous about the trees will grow over here they'll get more beautiful okay Walt <laughs> <laughs> are you yeah. nervous I know I'm nervous I'm, ner I'm excited for the trailers nervous for the movie because I heard <sighs> it got terrible reviews I didn't so. hear it get terrible I've heard that people have liked it but critics did not. The critics did not. You guys know we're super easy to please, so we'll let you know right. a full, honest, and raw opinion <laughs> after the movie. <gasps> oh, it was so good. <laughs> so it's uh, it's never going to be better than the original. Yeah. But I think I, they did a very good job. My take on it is like, would it have stood on its own? Like, if it was released today and all of society never saw the original Lion King. Would it still have like been able to stand on its own? Yeah, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't. I don't twenty five years from now, they wouldn't have remade that. Like if twenty if twenty five years ago never happened and they came out with this, it wouldn't be a thing twenty five years from now. Right. Like it was so good, but I think it was so good because of what it already was. Yeah. Because but it was, like, it was so beautiful. I'd say it was like eighty percent frame for frame. Like it was like. True to the story, yeah. there was like they changed a, a little bit. Of things here they and there. added a little bit more. Modernized a little bit there. Added a few extra scenes that weren't in the original. Yeah, but just like transitions. Yeah. It was like it still brought me to tears. It still definitely had us go laughing see it. Out loud. Yeah. But Don't like, be that stubborn '90s kid who's like, it's not the OG, so I'm not gonna well, go. I'm gonna actually link right here as a card. Um, Sarah um, Sterling did a down to Disney of the Lion King this week, a oh. brand new one of the original. And she like gets choked up talking about it because she's like, it's not even my favorite Disney movie, but it's just had such an impact on all on everybody. And so it just has like such a weight to it. It was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I did too. We're gonna go see how far we can go. Oh and there's really yeah, there's a good Elton John song in the credits. In the credits. There's no post credit scene. Yeah. But the new El Elton John wrote a new song and it's in the credits. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah, let's roll. This is the perfect dessert. The Lion King. Oh, if I do think that place around the corner is open for a sweet treat. Oh, I do not want to see him old friend. We haven't been here in forever because we were like paddlefish out. I love it though. We're gonna sit right here. We're gonna sit dockside. Oh my gosh. So we got a donut and we got a muffin. Wait, they gave us two. They gave us two. <laughs> we don't have to share. Wow. So we got two cinnamon muffins. I'm <laughs> salivating because I'm so excited. And I actually really want some lobster because I can smell it. And this like crumbly peanut Look, butter. Or coffee they gave punch. us two. So it's bringing leftovers home. What'd you think? A little dry, but I think it'll be better in the microwave. The donut was delicious, even though it fell apart. But it was very I know, moist. like, I guess that like Aaron McKenna isn't like huge in the like plant-based world, but like 
I I don't know, maybe just because I have a sweet tooth, I'm like anything that I get from there. I really like. Oh, look at these cool cards that are like made of paper. It's so cute. Look at that the classic Mickey. Look at that. It's amazing. It's just paper. No, we got held up and we weren't able to go into Sugar Boo. We got held up for a good reason. Very and I good. know you guys are going to be upset for the fact that we didn't pull the camera out for this. Uh -huh. But who stopped us and distracted us for the last 25 minutes? Mr. Tyler. Mr. Tummy Time with Tyler. Yeah. Flashback. We were like, good. we just like saw him and we're like, oh, but we <laughs> haven't seen him in so long. Yeah. And when I worked for Disney, me and Tyler would talk, because you guys know Tyler works for Disney. But when I worked at Disney, we both could like use Link, which is like the Skype for Business application. So we could like instant message each other and we would do it every single day that we worked. Yeah. At right. least like three to four times a week we would be yeah. messaging all day. And now I don't work for Disney, so I don't we talk to him as much. out every day. He ever wants to come so, around, so hopefully he will. Hopefully you'll see him Seems soon. Seems like his schedule is better, so. Yeah, and he's in a good place, so it was yeah. great seeing him. Yeah. And today is Peter's grandma's birthday. Happy birthday, grandma. Okay. The quote of the day. Is it always the simple that produces the marvelous? Amelia Barr. Yes. So, we had a great time. We had a lot of fun. I'm hungry for another meal, but it's just because I should be asleep. And he's really mean. It's good to be home. <laughs> It's gonna be I'm, I want to get my haircut tomorrow finally because I'm growing a mane out like Simba. <laughs> Teenage Simba though. Just got you a little floofy. If you guys yeah. didn't know, I have a crazy colic right here. So if I grow my hair out, it's like... And back there. And back there, which is why often why this right here exists. I haven't got my haircut in almost a year. You got your haircut too. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>